So what's one of the highest privileged things on a system is whatever is defending it, right? If you have a defense system on your computer, an antivirus, like something like an EDR, then that has to have extremely high privileges in order to get rid of any malicious files that have spawned on the system or that are detected, right? Like that's just kind of like a no brainer. Well, a security researcher decided, what if you could weaponize these systems like an antivirus software, like a Microsoft Sentinel One, Trend Micro, Avast, or AVG, and turn them into data wipers. So the difference between a data wiper and ransomware is that a data wiper is a one-way process. It just removes data, it's destroyed, and there's no way to recover the data. Unlike ransomware, where they're able to actually recover the data if the attacker gives up a key. Now, this is pretty bad because this has actually been used against like Ukraine, for example, in the ongoing war with Russia, where Russia doesn't care about ransoms and they're just trying to destroy critical information on a system. So what happened here is that it figured out that when you trigger a file for deletion and then force the computer to reboot, it actually causes Windows, if you delete a certain system and then link it back to the C directory, to go after the C directory and follow every single juncture from that path deleting every file in its wake. So it was able to be shown that a Microsoft Defender, a Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Sentinel-1 EDR, Trend Micro, Apex-1, Avast Antivirus, and AVG were vulnerable to this technique. So if an attacker was able to get access to a system, they could basically use this technique to put a little piece of bait that attracts the, the antivirus solution in a critical path delete the normal path and then restore it to linking back to the C directory. And then as the computer reboots in order to take action on those detected malicious files, it will actually go and follow the path, destroying the C directory and everything inside of it. So this is a pretty funny way of weaponizing products that are specifically designed to protect against this kind of behavior. And triggering the immune system of the computer to attack itself is one of the funniest exploits that I've heard of in a good long time.